Hello, welcome to my workshop. I'm Chris Pine. Recently, Shane Conlon, my brother from Down Under, <laughs> made a what he called a magazine rack, but basically it was just a rustic looking crate. Now, he was reading my mind because I've been looking in the back of my van and I've been using this cardboard box to keep my jumper cables and I keep a toe strap in there, an extra pair of coveralls, stuff like that, just in case you break down and you need something to help get yourself going again. Well, that cardboard box is just wore out. It's starting to collapse and stuff. And I've been thinking I need to make some type of a box just to go back there, a simple design made of wood. And I thought, wow, that project would be perfect for what I need in the back of my van. So he used some old fence fencing material. I have some of this, which is, if you look at this wood, it's some old barn wood I received from a guy on Craigslist a few years ago for free. And I've made bird houses and all kinds of things out of this wood. Uh, I got, oh my goodness, I bet it was close to, to a hundred board feet of this. So I'm going to use some of this wood. If I run out of this between these two boards, I'll use what I have some other scrap pine here that I, all of this was procured for free. So I'm just going to make a box. That's what woodworking is a lot of the time, isn't it? Making boxes for the back of my van. Come with me. Let's see if we can get this done. Should be a quick project, but should be very useful. film that but I've sanded down the main pieces and I've gotten them the way I want them. I just smoothed them off so there's no rough corners or edges to splinter and I've roughened up the paint texture as you can see. Uh, some of this wood that was uh, painted by whoever owned uh, the building this was on was very weathered and raised. The grain was raised quite a bit so this is going to really be a fun project to uh, use this for and the pr technique that I've uh, seen by Shane and, and others is to use other color paint and I just have some uh, red paint it's just uh, this kind of acrylic paint that you can get and I'm gonna rub that all over these pieces and let it dry wipe off you know a lot of the excess let it dry and then we'll sand it one more time and we'll be ready for assembly I've sanded down with the uh, red paint applied and I've gotten this effect. It's a little different from what I expected, but I think I like it. It uh, kind of looks like it was painted red at one time and white at one time. So it came out like this. Anyway, it's for a crate for Pete's sake. It really doesn't matter that much what it looks like, but I think it looks kind of like it was on a barn at one time. Put a little glue on the middle of each one. Should be fine. Now I'll just repeat that around the crate and we'll get it assembled. Okay, so about right there. I'll do that on the other side and we'll get the bottom installed. Okay, it's a little cupped, these boards are, but who cares? It's just for a box here. So 
like that. I'll put a few breads in the bottom, maybe some from the sides, and we'll uh, basically be done with the assembly. This box will work out just fine. I posted a short video on my Keek account, and somebody said they thought the paint job looked like bacon. So I guess the bacon box complete. It'll get a lot of good use. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. God bless. It's going to work good.